back to fascia fits. Today we're going to be fascia stretching the area of our chest. Not only the chest, but also the anterior shoulder. And when we're doing this, we're going to move through a flow. So we'll do some resistance stretching while in child's pose. And then we're going to move to different directions so we're getting the full spectrum of the fascia in the chest area. Make your way down to your mat. If you feel that you would like more comfort under your knees, feel free to roll up the mat and place it under your knees for extra cushion. Or if you have a towel, you could roll that up and put that under your knees as well. We're going to be on the knees for a little bit um, during this resistance stretch sequence, so get comfortable. First, make your way up onto the hands and knees. I want you to think about centering yourself so that your shoulders are above your wrist and your hips are above your knees. From here, we're going to take a big step forward with our hands and shift your body weight forward so your shoulders are over your hands. Bring the knees apart slightly. We're going to add resistance down and back with our hands so much that it would look kind of like you're pulling the heels of your hands back towards your knees or underneath your belly button. I open my knees a little bit to give myself a little bit extra support. Shift that body weight forward, add the resistance down and back with the hands. When you feel it in the chest, draw your hips back at the same time you continue to resist. Have will just come to a neutral position. I'm still resisting my hands down, but I'm gonna come back up again to start. The next repetition. Resist the heels of the hands down and back. My feet kind of popped up a little bit. Draw your hips back. The more resistance you're putting in your hands, the more stretch you're going to get in the fascia. Bringing it back up. I'd also like to know, as you're resistance stretching the chest, you are actually also strengthening your legs. So the opposite side of the body that's doing the work to move you in the opposite direction of your resistance is being strengthened at the same time. So not only does this work stretch the fascia, which is incredibly important and more effective in creating increased flexibility, but you're getting a body workout at the same time. My core is engaged just naturally here, but sometimes if you think about getting more out of it, just activate your core muscles, you'll get more out of it. Let's do one more here. Finish this repetition off. Keep resisting the arms. Good. Bring your body weight forward. We're going to take a walk to the right. So my left hand is going to be just on the inside of the mat, and my right hand is right next to it. Lift the belly, chin tuck. Now your resistance is still going in the same direction, down and back, but we're on the angle. So it's going to be ever so slightly shifted where stretch happens in the fascia. My body's going to go in the opposite direction, so my hips are going to go back and to the left slightly. I'm putting a little extra emphasis on my left hand and pressing down and back. I'm getting a little bit into my ribcage here at the same time I'm stretching the chest. Remember that the rule is to stretch the fascia, you shorten the area that you're stretching, you add resistance, here's my resistance, and you move in the opposite direction. I'll repeat that a lot because it is such a different type of practice that it takes a little bit of time for your body to get comfortable with what you're asking of it. Most bodies have never stretched this way before. Even being a dancer, I know mine hadn't. Good, let's walk your hands to the left. Keep that belly lifted and core engaged. My right hand's gonna go on the inside of the mat and my left hand right beside it. And just adjust a little bit, settle in, and come forward just a touch. Resist both hands down and back. My body's gonna go to the right and slightly down and back. Good. You're still stretching the fascia in the chest. However, I do feel a kind of a classic old school stretch in the ribcage on that right side. Focus on the breath here now since we're just moving through a couple reps. Taking inhales and exhales wherever you feel you need them. It doesn't have to be super specific. Keep resisting down. Take your time to make sure that the resistance is going in the right direction. My arms are straight, but not locked. Let's do one more here. Good. Pressing down. Whew. 
Good. Getting the heart rate up again here. Come back to center. We are going to go back into the resistance child's pose movement. We're going to drop down to our elbows. Bring your elbows in as close together as you possibly can. Walk it forward a little bit and shift your body weight forward. Lift the belly, chin tucked tight in the tummy. Resist the hands, the forearms as well as the elbows, down and back like this. So we're going to kick that into gear. So I'm getting a little bit more lat stretch on this one in the fascia around my lats. Draw the hips back. Whew. I feel this. Bring it forward. I'm going to scoot my elbows in a little bit. Resist down and back. Draw your hips back. Good. And again, kick it back. Change your head position slightly by looking down a little bit, releasing that neck and tension that it might be holding. Good. I'm noticing my arms aren't resisting as even as I like. I'm going to kind of talk to them a little bit. I'm going to push a little bit more through my left arm because it doesn't feel like it was doing as much work. Now I'm able to get that there. Let's do one more time. Is down and back, pulling back. Good. Bring it back up. Come to rest for a second. Shoulders roll back. Take your arms out to your side, palms forward. Inhale, arms raise up to the ceiling. Inhale, stay, and exhale. You're taking this big movement after stretching the fascia, so the muscles have the space to move that they might not have been able to move prior to doing the fascia stretch. Good. Let the head move around a little bit. I like to add just a couple nice easy body motions and movements. Good. Let's make our way to downward dog. Placing your hands down the mat, up onto the knees. Flip the toes under and send your hips to the sky. Open the feet slightly and settle in here. We're going to add resistance and you're going to push your hands forward and your feet back. Once you have that activation in the arms and in the feet, draw your sternum forward in your yoga plank. Press back down to downward dog. Inhale and exhale, pressing the hands forward, feet back. Peel that sternum through. We're still fascia stretching here, but with movement in downward dog. One more time, resist. Hands forward and feet back. Peel it forward. This is really intense. Contain it, hold it for five, four, three, two, one. Drop one knee down to the floor at a time. Sitting back to rest. Roll the shoulders up and back. Palms forward, chin tuck. Inhale, arms raise up. And exhale down. Feel even more openness than the first time I did this. Inhale, arms up. And down. And to finish it off, let's go back into our resistance prayer. When doing this, it is to activate the fascia, stretch it both in the chest, shoulders, and upper back. Take your hands in front of your face. Belly in, chin tuck. Press your hands together. Once you feel that in the chest and in your scapula or your shoulder blade area, Draw those elbows into tap. Press it in. Draw those elbows into tap. If you are someone who meditates, prior to beginning your meditation practice, try doing a couple of these. It's going to stretch the fascia. It's going to get blood flow and get your body warmed up. It is also going to start to calm your mind. One more time. Press it in. Good. And release opening yourself up to a more comfortable position. Thank you so much for joining me today in your fascia fix. Please let me know if you have any questions by commenting below. Subscribe to my channel and look out for future videos.